are you all doing? Hey. You good? Bad. Very good. Very good. Good. Tis the end. <laughs> fond <Hello>. farewell. <laughs> yeah, it's it's sad. Fond farewell. It's so sad. <laughs> is, this, is this the bit where we get on the boat and go sailing into the west? <laughs> like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> With everyone crying on the shore, waving us off. Is that how one, of the, one of the seven endings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's more like the beach, the ending to the beach, where we all float away on a raft. And, oh, uh... okay. Gosh, can you imagine being marooned on an island with you lot? Yeah. I don't know if I'd survive it. Depends no. how much uh, uh, weed there is. Preferably. Yeah, let's face it. I, I'll, I'll be the first to go. You'll be eating me about <laughs> halfway through. <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, just to clarify, it's just the end of this weekend uh, of BGT and CUKVC. Yes. Um, you not... got it. Well done. <laughs> Practicing that. Last time you're going to say it, Mark. Hello. Well. Uh, it, well, it started the weekend. It started pretty good, and then I had a bit you of did. a slump like yesterday. I kind of got all confused about the end. I think. I think that was uh, <laughs> throwing me off. Um, so. Um, we have got some awesome news because uh, we're going to be doing three competition draws. We're going to start with those, so you're not. We're not going to make it like a reality TV show. We're just going to tell you mm. these one. Um, <laughs> we're going <laughs> to we're going to start with Nemesis. Uh, for that, we've got a random name drawer that we'll uh, we'll switch over to, so you can see that. And uh, Mr. Anderson's going to announce that one. Then we're going to go to that the. Will be me. <laughs> Sorry. So that will be me. Yes. yes. You. <laughs> Thank <know> you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go on to the uh, Lucky Duck, the big bundle draw of uh, all of the Chronicles of Crime, the new stuff, isn't it? The Millennial Millennium series? Millennium, edition. Series. Millennium edition, I think. Millennium so. edition, sorry. And then we're going to end on the, the big boy, the natural 20 table, which uh, was a fantastic competition, I've got to say. It was, it was great fun. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah, what a second. generous <laughs> prize that is. Yeah. It was. And it was a genius. Uh, it was a genius um, idea, Martin. To yeah. Yeah, that yeah. Is I mean, I can't take all the credit. To be fair, I mean, Nick put the seed in my head. So, but yeah, it worked out. It worked out really, really well. I think. Well, first of all, that sounds really rude. And secondly, <laughs> See, that says more about you, Martin. <laughs> I, think, I think Andrew and I started chuckling at that point. And and secondly, <laughs> covers, on, you're not going to get much credit at all. In this broadcast, so you take whatever credit's coming your way, you grab it with both hands. Okay, no, you're right. And you, totally and you, my you grip it. It was totally my idea. I've run with it. Um, I've helped out where possible in the whole yeah, thing. Okay. Um, I mean, it's been great, yeah. But you guys did nothing in it, so I'm just going to take it all. Yeah, okay. Absolutely right. Cool. Let's uh, crack on and uh, get going with this nemesis. Uh, I'm going to switch over to the big green screen. Um, okay. You... Oh, for some reason it's left. Sorry. Not. So for the viewers, hmm. I'm looking at a green screen here. I can't see anything other than a green screen, so it's a bit weird. So for all I know, I'm the only person broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to hit this big. Me. I'm going to hit this big red button. It's going to flash through a bunch of names quickly for about five seconds. And it's going to settle on okay. a name. Martin, all you have to do is read out that name. They are the winner. Okay. Thank, thank you for your clear and concise instructions, <laughs> Mr. Cook. Let's see if he gets it right. I've got a quid, says he fucks his up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do I do if my name comes up? Celebrate. Can we establish that? <laughs> Celebrate. Yeah, take a swig. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm pressing the button. Okie dokie. ta -da. Okay, so I'm pleased to announce it isn't me because that would be quite embarrassing, having already <laughs> trailed that as a possibility. It's a Mr. Ian Watkinson. Mr. Ian Watkinson, you are the winner of the Nemesis well Lockdown done, Ian. Pledge. Nice. Um, well done, Ian. I think at this point I also should um, thank Awaken Realms for obviously making this possible, and also the friend to the group, our very, very short Mr. Martin Paul. Um, <laughs> short and round, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So thank you for that, Martin. You probably are watching, and um, we do appreciate your, um, your your gesture in actually making that available, and of course the people at Awakening Realms. And I'm sure Ian will enjoy it, and thank you himself uh, in person at some point because um, I'm going to make him drive around to your house and, and do <laughs> something. Good, Martin. <laughs> wow, that's a surprise, is it? <laughs> uh, very good. Um, so we are going to move on to the Lucky Duck 
the Chronicles <clears throat> of Crime Millennial oh, series. I forgot what you said. Edition. Millennium edition. Millennium Unless you're Victoria edition. Wood, and then it's Millennium. <laughs> Millennium. Millennium. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so the winner of this one um, has been chosen, and it's Lindsay Moore. So Ooh, well congratulations, done, Lindsay. Lindsay. Congratulations. You win the complete Chronicles of Crime Millennium That's edition. A round of applause. A round of applause. <laughs> All round. It's a big hand. Um, you obviously, Jason will get in touch with you, and that will ship when the Kickstarter ships. Um, and for anybody that's unsuccessful, the late pledges are still available, so you can jump on there if you need to. Um, big thanks to Jason Froud and Lucky Duck for that one. Um, yeah. Any more information you need, get in touch with him or check out the post that he's posted with his yeah. hashtag Lucky Duck. Don't bother Cheers, us, in other words. Paper figures. <laughs> Very good. And so on to the, um, the Natural 20 table. Um, wow, this is the big one. This is the big Drum one. Roll. Martin, do you want to talk a bit about how the judging process went forward? <laughs> I absolutely will. So, I mean, hopefully you guys have seen obviously you guys have seen it, but the viewers have seen the um, the post there. We had many entries. I didn't actually count them all, but we had t- over 200 comments, certainly. Um, what we did, we each selected our three favourites. So, and that's that includes Mark. So we had essentially 18 selected. Um, between us but we did that individually so there may have been some overlap there and then we rated them basically first second third and they were assigned points based on those <clears throat> everyone sent them to me i compiled them so you guys don't know who the winner is either no. so we actually have a clear first and second oh, that's, uh, but, that's good but we have four third place ties wow <laughs> so you see, it was actually quite close and i'll go through those because i think i think before I actually go through the winners, I think it's fair to say that everything was brilliant. I mean, it far exceeded yeah. my expectations. The, awesome. the effort that people have put in was yeah. so good. And honestly, yeah. I, I, it was really difficult to choose three. And I, I, I felt bad for like passing mm-hmm. some up because some were so good. So yeah. deserving. And funny. Yeah, yeah. So absolutely. Yeah. I laughed and disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But I thought do you know what I learned, Martin? Martin, What's do you that? know what I learned? How bored everyone must be at the moment. <laughs> How much time people have got on their hands. That's exactly right, yeah. Jenny, Jenny suggested that we should have all done one as a oh, separate we should. thing. Yeah. That'll, that'll yeah. be next, year, no, next year's Sorry. T-shirt. We'll do that. Yeah, when we can all get together, yeah. Uh, we should have thought okay. about that. Nick's, Nick's asking if we can put them up, but I don't think we can because... I don't know who they are. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it. Again we'll do it, yeah. Point. Share them later. I will I will confirm this in a post once we've done this. And what I'll do, I'll put them up in there so people can see like the the placings and who's won and whatnot. So everyone will have that. So, but yeah, here unfortunately, it's not happening. <laughs> so um, the third place runners up. There are four of those. We have George Foe and his Sushi Go. Oh yeah, uh, oh, which that's good. Yeah, I understand he made the sushi. In that, which oh, nice. Well, nice. Fantastic. That was. Uh, Laura Cohen for Chronicles of Crime. Yeah, that was good. Um, well yeah. That was good. Yeah, that was really good. Um, I think this is Sion or Sion Oxford for Hey, That's My Fish. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and Christopher Chetwood, which for a long time was my winner, actually, um, was with that, Wingspan. Well, that was the Wingspan. <laughs> wingspan. Yeah, that, yeah. That, wingspan. That, that was brilliant. Was that was genius. disturbing. <laughs> it was so good. I mean, kudos to, to Christopher for that one. I loved it. Right. So, second place, our, our overall runner up, and just missing out actually, was Tara Kiley with Preta Porter. Oh, oh. oh yes. yeah, that was really good. Really good. A really good job of that. And in fact, when you compare them side by side, they they look near identical. Did, a, did an absolutely blinding job on that one. Well done, Tara. Uh, so that was second place. Unlucky, Tara. Really, you were very close. Yeah. Not quite. But our first place winner is Dean Stephen with his rendition of Pandemic. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> it's the one I chose. Yeah, it was, it was superb. I think really, really good job. So, well Dean, well done, Dean, congratulations. Well done, you've, congratulations. Won, you've won a gaming table. Amazing. Um, I will be in touch uh, with you. I'll, I'll put Daniel um, from Natural 20 Tables in, in the chat with you, and you guys can, can take it from there, and you can get your lovely gaming table for you. But, but really well done. You did a great job. Yeah, fabulous. Uh, but everybody that entered did a brilliant, brilliant job. I, I they just did. Yeah. Amazing. And I, I, 
I do think maybe we should reuse that competition at some point in the future because it, it's so good. Definitely. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about Definitely. That. Or something like it, certainly. Well, yeah. What we should do, <clears throat> this is my suggestion, is instead of um, people having to fill in those three questions to actually join the group, we should make them do a picture <laughs> like that to see if they qualify. That would be good. Yeah, That's like just it. my suggestion. I love it. Very good. Uh, and I just also want to say thank you to Firestorm, uh, Borderlands and Tailored Games who all also ran competitions but sort of sorted out the winners and stuff themselves. So thank you everyone for uh, all your generosity and thank you, a huge massive thank you to all the exhibitors who put on various discount yeah, yeah, codes. Amazing. Um, and various things. It's actually cost me a load more yeah, money. Some... <laughs> <laughs> so, um Cool. Uh, so I thought what we'd move on to is a bit of a Q and a Q and a Q and a. Um, <laughs> uh, the just just the one A. You didn't, you didn't like say you were going to do both. <laughs> I thought he said T and A. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Put him away, man. <laughs> that that must be a new record. How many minutes did that take? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got a couple prepared that we're going to ask you guys. Um, I have. Um, got some uh, other questions that people have asked on the post earlier. Um, how we're going to try and try and do it so you're not all chatting over each other is I'm going to do Catan style. I'm going to go round the window and back again. Um, so we'll start. Here we go. Chris, Andrew, Cubbles, Leanne, Anderton, and then backwards for the next question. All right. Um, so the first one was just going to be about the weekend, um, kind of how you found it, any highlights that you might have. Um, so Chris, we're starting with you. Uh, how I found it, I, I found, um, found it to be a, a bit of a surprise, really. Um, I, um, I've kind of, for the last few years, tried to keep things the way they were. I think the group, the group's got a certain feel to it, uh, that I've always liked and I've always been a bit hesitant to maybe change that, um, but I think with the video content from the weekend and the 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 increased interaction and finally people using the fucking Discord channel, which I set up. <laughs> I mean, Christ, it's, like, it's like a ghost town. And thanks, I think, mainly to Leanne. Yeah, sure. well, okay. that's that's been. I mean, I, I I would hope that 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 continues to be used. Uh, because yeah. the, the nature of the nature of a Facebook group generally is you, you post something for people to see over the next generally I, I guess a few hours, a few days. In, in our case, a few minutes. Yeah. But having that interaction, that back and forth of, of a Discord channel, I think is awesome. Yeah. Um, getting Mark on board uh, as an admin for the weekend has been phenomenal. Obviously, obviously he's incredibly driven. I mean, you don't you, you only have to look at um, Aircon. What was it? Five years? It's, is it five years or five events? And it's oh, grown it's years, yeah. like no other con. And and I know he's got a great team, but the vast majority of that is because he is both incredibly driven and incredibly able. Yeah, and, yeah. Yeah. and 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 he's said various things over the weekend. Oh, have you tried this? Why don't you do this? That. And so yeah. Various suggestions that we're, we're like think about topics we're taking on board already. We're going to try and promote them and get people using, them, which just simply makes it easy to search for things. We did think about doing that just to simply separate sales and you know other posts in the past. But when we last looked at it, it was so so long ago. It was wasn't even an option. We were literally considering setting up two groups and linking them on a website. Facebook is still shite, but it's <laughs> it's more powerful than it was then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just having someone's eye on it in the group yeah. for the weekend has, 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 has opened our eyes. Uh, I'd, like I said, I have, I've tried to keep the group feeling the same for years. But when it was like 400 people and then 1,000 people, et cetera, et cetera, it was obviously a different animal to 16,500 people. Mm -hmm. The weekend has shown me that we clearly have a presence and potentially some clout. Uh, you know the fact that the exhibitors have come forward with with various deals that they have, and they some of them have been great. Means that they want to interact with us in the same way that we would normally interact with them at conventions, etc. And I think I think the group is going to be changing a bit, slowly, very slowly, 
going forward, we are going to start introducing more things. I, I'm, I'm convinced we're going to do more video stuff. We're going to, we're, we're hoping to um, do some games uh, with admin and, and hopefully special guests or the people, whatever. We'll get some games and we'll figure out a way to stream them, Mark. Um, so that's what it's done. It's, 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 opened, it's opened my eyes to potentially what the group should be as opposed to what I want it to be because it's been really locked down. Mm -hmm. And the admins have said this weekend that they've wanted to suggest things in the past and maybe not done so because they know it's like my baby. I love the group so much that it, it's it's difficult to have. And Marcus said the same thing about Aircon. When you have a team that have, obviously they've got their own ideas and they want to bring these things in, it's so difficult to see somebody bring something in to your baby and say, this is what's happening. I've, yeah. I've, I liken it to, I've said this weekend, getting hiring an admin and in the group it's not like getting a babysitter to look after your baby it's like getting another spouse yeah. to look after your baby it feels to me that that important sort mm -hmm. of thing and i know i know lots of people love the group and i love the group obviously but yeah you the, the weekend has opened my eyes to see what we can do mm -hmm. going forward and we are going to do this weekend probably at least once a year and obviously like i said the content is going to change a bit but still also stay the same that's so that's, that's what I've taken from the weekend. It's one positive that's come out of the lockdown, actually, because we this has happened through a necessity yeah. more than anything else. Yeah. And it's shown that actually it really works. The technology is there for various things, chatting or quizzes or gaming or whatever. And actually, it's yeah. not that onerous to do those things. And so Not at all. Hmm. All the different packages are... Uh, uh, like I said, I said a few days ago, t uh, uh, TTS. Hmm. I, I bought it ages ago, never used it. I just thought this is a pain in the arse get forced to use it yeah and you suddenly realize like i said an hour in and you're like oh this is all right actually yeah, yeah. i yeah. mean it's not as good as getting your mates around the table and having a drink ah. and having a play but it is what it is it is what we've got Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and there are some people that are not comfortable going to conventions and things like that and this has enabled them to true. experience it yeah that's true uh, to a degree and actually stay within the, the comfort of their own surroundings so actually you know it's broadened it to other people that wouldn't have normally attended the yeah. expo or aircon or whatever. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can I can I just interject and say that one of the things that has surprised me about this weekend has just happened. I wasn't aware that Chris could speak for any longer than a minute. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, Andrew, quickly before we move on to you, I'm just going to mention the Ludacris uh, charity reverse auction. Uh, oh Matt, yes, how they do. They managed to raise. Nick believes he says his reports are being a bit wibbly, but he believes they've raised about twelve hundred pounds. So, oh, wow. that's oh, that's amazing! amazing. That's, that's that's awesome. NHS, wasn't it? Is it NHS that's charity? That's, that's yeah. really really cool. Well done, Nick. If, and... if anyone's really been challenged during the course of this, it's people like Nick and people like Dave Salisbury. You know? yeah. But Nick yeah. is particularly exposed because of the food stuff that he he does as well yeah. very good food stuff i know that from personal experience and nick has you know he's he's <coughs> come out of this and he's basically run a charity event which yeah. is he's not looking to you know basically pull down any money for himself i think there's a few bits and pieces he did 50 yeah. 50 but that's, that was a, that's a tremendous effort <coughs> that's something else we're going to be doing more of in the future i mean obviously we had a huge charity event what was it now two years ago more yeah more and that was that was a, that was a, an incredible so. amount of work but yeah. a massive success we yeah. are going to be doing more things definitely going forward Can I suggest not quite as hard as that but maybe maybe do martin stuff. doing laps of the garden <laughs> I, I i hear lap dancing was that <laughs> martin oh, doing lap dancing no. That's what I heard. Christ, no. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll move swiftly on then to Andrew. <laughs> please, please. Swiftly, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the question was now. Uh, <laughs> would you do a lap dance in the garden? No. <laughs> With Major Tom. No, wait. That's the... God, it's all gone wrong. <laughs> highlights of the weekend. Just how you found it. In uh, highlights. Uh, yeah, so the whole weekend was a little bit of a a surprise and um i'm disappointed that i wasn't able to do more i mean it was we did this at last minute so you know everyone leaned in but I, uh, obviously i'm still working full time so i couldn't do any help with the arranging as i would like to have done so um if we have more plan next time i'll definitely do more and lean in more to help more but highlight for me, down. yeah right don't yeah don't record this <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Hi. Sorry, no one's watching. Yeah, probably not. Everyone left when we did the competition. <laughs> uh, is the um, probably the interview with Ignacy? Yeah, uh, yeah, you. Well, what a lovely chap. Yeah, yeah, what, really, great. genuine. What a legend. Great can, I, can I say, Andrew, you was obviously really enjoying that because you you asked some really good questions. I mean, you're obviously yeah. a bit you're a bit of a fan of his stuff. Bit of fanboy. I prepared. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. It was great. And you know what? Uh, I, I did two interviews, and the other one was with um, Aiden, who was just starting out in the industry. A great guy yeah. as well. So mm-hmm. wonderful to have those two perspectives. Yeah. You know, we've been around for 25 years, whatever it is, that like Nassi and then a new starter. It was really interesting. Yeah. So doing those interviews, I don't know how you did them over and over again, Mark, because I found them. <laughs> I had the sweats after just doing one <laughs> with nerves. Um, <laughs> So all day was exhausting, but now it's brilliant. And then I got some gaming in with some people on the group on Friday night, which is brilliant. Um, so yeah, it was great. It was a great weekend. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Oh, good stuff. Covers? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, I, I have to say I went into a virtual convention with a, a bit of scepticism behind it. So I wasn't sure how things were going to work because I, I think we uh, did ours after the expo had announced that they were going to do theirs. And I was a bit like, how is this going to work? You know, it's not the same as... Oh, they got to announce, did they? That's believe- yeah. <laughs> we We could have done with that, really. <laughs> You'll ever adapt so you don't survive, chaps. That's right. Yeah. This is what happened to the dinosaurs. Where's that mute? <laughs> uh, however, uh, once once we started once we started rolling and we got involved and I did a few interviews and then uh, the quiz on Saturday night was easily my highlight. It was literally just like sat here with a few friends, getting pissed and having a laugh, just like you would in a convention. And then a like half one in the morning, wherever it was, and went off and played a game online <laughs> with some other people as well. It was, I just had a fantastic night there, and I really did feel like, um, I felt energized, like that adrenaline buzz that you get when you're at a convention and you're mm. staying up stupidly late and getting drunk and whatnot. And it had that real good, vibrant feel, and that was, yeah, was a, a definite highlight for me. I loved it. It's fun. Yeah. Even though I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Remind us again, Martin. Where exactly did you come? I, I got a runner up. <laughs> <laughs> Honourable mention. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> so ran, yeah. Oh, very good. Uh, Liam, <laughs> how was it for you? It is hard, isn't it, to pick a highlight. Like Martin said, the quiz last night, the engagement we had from people online, the fun on the Discord server afterwards, going on to Board Game Arena and chatting to people, that, for me, captured the essence of what a convention is way more than I thought it could mm-hmm. from it, virtually really wasn't expecting that and that was marvelous feeling for me um but yeah it's um I was like Martin said yeah it, I wasn't sure how this was going to go but we hadn't had a big build up for it for people but maybe that's good they did get fatigue from that and um, there's been a lot of people doing virtual online game days and things and I thought people might have con fatigue and zoom fatigue and everything else that people get and I wasn't sure what the buy-in was going to be like um, and I've been pleasantly surprised by it. I I knew we had supportive group members, but I didn't realise how much they'd support something new like this. Um, they're far more open to, to change than I thought they might be because I know lots of people don't like change. Um, so, yeah, it's it's in the face of the adversity that we've had in the last couple of months. I've been blown away by the positivity of it all. Um, I've got loads of ideas for the next one. I'm far more confident that we can roll out different changes that we've been wanting to make and all these different things that we want to give people. Mm-hmm. Um, and and it's going to be brilliant. Like Chris said, you know, hopefully more of these, some online games, some chats from us, some interviews. We could do our own critical role. That'd be really good, guys, I think. <laughs> <laughs> only uh, if, Even if it's only so we can get cookies to say BGT and C-U-K-R-P-G. Um, <laughs> <laughs> TV. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. That's. I think the quiz is a highlight. Um, it's it's been really hard to pick. I mean, it's been really hard to pick. Yeah. Um, but the Discord group has been amazing. Yeah, well done. Um, Gareth, a massive shout out. Thank you to Gareth for all yeah. of his help with that. He's been admin in it like an absolute boss. Yeah, um, he's every t- great. Yes. Every sorry, time I've been in sorry, on just, it. Can I put him on set? Yeah, yeah. Thank, thanks as well to the Grogan for his contributions in there as well. Yeah, he, yeah, I know you've been stellar in there, and he has as well. Yeah, so Paul's been in um, checking on people for games um, and so Gareth's been backing it up. We've been going in. Nobody's gone without a game. I think every time somebody's gone in and wanted something, we've managed to fix them up somehow. 
Um, so yeah, it's um, that's been great. And I have had a chat, a quick, very quick couple of words on Discord a couple of hours ago, and people are keen for the channel to continue. And I said, you know, now that you're all here, we really want to keep this up and running. This will be a great place for people, at least for the moment, when they say on the group, oh, is anybody free for a game? That's where they can go and that's where they yeah. can do that now. Absolutely. Um, Awesome. So hopefully we'll do some more linking from that from our um our sister page we've got that's about events we can link through to the Discord server from that as well, um so yeah it's just been amazing awesome. loved it that's great yeah and Mr Anderton this is all your fault really hold on hold on let me get my translation book <laughs> <laughs> one of the things uh, um, well a couple of things um, have been my highlights. Um, I think confirmation of what I've always kn known um, that um, Mark Cook is a buffoon. Um, I, w I was gratified to realise that my assessment wasn't <laughs> incorrect all these years. That's true. Second, secondly, I th in all seriousness, though, however, um, one of the things I think I've been most gratified by is that, do you know what? There's nothing you can't do. If you lean into it, there's absolutely nothing you cannot do. And I'm, I'm talking to all of you, because... Are you still talking you know, to Mark? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, there's lots that Mark can't do. <laughs> no one told me this was going to get emotional. Yeah. <laughs> no, it, it, it's right, true. And, I, and, 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 and through talking to you guys and talking to everybody out there, because, you know, we all got our concerns and we all got our issues and we all got our, our phobias. But ultimately, if you put your mind to it, everything's possible. And everything's possible at a drop of a hat with a little bit of goodwill. And it's just confirmation of what I hope to be the case of how robust this hobby is. Mm -hmm. You know, what's happened to us because of the uh, inability to actually get around the table in the normal way that we would normally do, it could have decimated this industry and this in this hobby within a very, very quick period of time. Mm -hmm. You know, but we, we find we're like cockroaches, aren't we? We, we find a way, you know, and... Ultimately, Oslo or London. <laughs> <laughs> it's this re reaffirmation of the fact that you know <clears throat> there is a there, there is a lot to be said about the spirit of the individual, mm -hmm. and equally the spirit of a group of individuals, which is what we are. I mean, we we just sit at the head of the top of a pyramid, don't we, guys? You know, essentially, we're carried on the shoulders of those people that we we've been given the task to actually produce this this group for. And ultimately, without those people, none of this is possible because no, of their goodwill and their sense of sense Are you of thanking approach the fans? I am. I'm thanking the fans. <laughs> I, I, I will come on to God and my parents very soon. <laughs> it's you great to be here in Milton Keynes. In, the background. Yeah, but in all seriousness, I mean, you know, this was literally, um, I think the starting pistol went on this about midday on Saturday. Last Not Saturday gone, but Saturday before that. When I said I sent a message into the admin group and said, "Yeah, what do you think of this, guys?" and everybody straight away, with a, <laughs> varying degrees of worry, said, "Yeah, should we give it a go?" and and we did, and we leaned into it, we got it done, and everybody was falling over themselves to actually help us, publishers, retailers, you know, and it just is an affirmation of the fact that you know, as a as an industry and as a hobby, everybody does recognise that we all are in it together, and it you know. Just seeing that sideways help that comes from, you know, one retailer helping another retailer, one publisher bigging up another publisher. And, you know, content produced. I mean, Paul's been fantastic this weekend, <clears> as, you, as you say. You know, he's, he, he's tied himself up in knots as to how best to actually um, make everybody else have a good time. Now, Paul does this for a living. He's done all of this for free. Mm -hmm. You know, and his time is really valuable. Yeah. We don't get anything out of this we've all done this for free gareth has jumped into the discord channel because that's what you do you volunteer yeah, you yeah. put your hand up you lean into it and you get it done and there's nothing that we can't do ultimately we've got muscles as a group and this is my my state of the union address now we as a group are big enough now to basically as chris said and stole my bit, bit of my fun if you could salute uh if, if you would please Andy. um as Chris stole my thunder, really, because as he said, you know, there is there is muscle in this group that we can exercise in positively. You know, we're, we're, we're not agitating for any change. We There's lots of things that we can do that is good. Mm -hmm. And if we can do it, then we should. And, no, you know, yeah. Tooting popular front. 
no, but you're right because it's we people can come to us now for us to support them. It's it's not the other way around. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. you, we've got something we can give back. No, I, I think I'm right that um, currently, I mean, Martin, obviously, part of your income comes from the industry, so you've got. You know, you have an interest in this. Leanne, I think you do a little bit of fanboy free, but it's not the sum total of your life. But the rest of us, we, we don't earn a living out of the industry. So we, we don't need anything out of the industry other than it for it to survive and survive in a way that benefits everybody. So from the point of view of what I've got out, it, it is affirmation of that, really. And um, thank you, everybody, for making, making my dreams possible. So now if I can go on now to thank God and thank my <laughs> parents, that'd be great. Uh, well and if done. I can have my, yeah, well done, I have my award now. <laughs> yeah, but no, you did a stellar job. You're always very good at giving thanks away to other people, but I think it's uh, right to recognise just how much you've done uh, this weekend. Absolutely, and, yeah. um, you know, I know you don't normally get a lot of messages, so it must be hard for you when you're getting 50 different exhibitors messaging you. <laughs> Right, he's got I, spent, I, I spent half a day wondering what all that pinging noise was going on. <laughs> I thought it was an alarm going off from the cooker or something. It was like your that. hearing aid. Yeah, I was going to say, a battery in your <laughs> hearing aid. Um, well, I just, hoped it, I just hoped it wasn't my pacemaker. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well done. And uh, yeah, a fantastic effort. I know you were up till two o'clock in the morning the night before all this all kicked off, still replying to messages and sorting offers and all sorts. And uh, you just did a phenomenal job. My, my bladder play, plays me up, so I have to get up that time. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, awesome. And um, I just an update uh, Nick got his Wibbly report working, and 1200, we'll scoff at 1200. Try one thousand seven hundred forty-six oh. pounds and twenty-six p. You'd love to be his accountant. Well, first of all, well done, Nick. Thanks, Second Nick. of all, you'd love to be his accountant, wouldn't you? With that kind of reporting <laughs> going on. Twelve. He managed to get his shoes off so he could count the rest of it. <laughs> <Yeah. after. laughs> one, two, three. <laughs> yeah. Cool, we'll do a bit more Q&A then. These are questions from members. Uh, if anyone wants to ask any questions, we'll probably go about half an hour and then we'll shut off about 10. Um, yeah. So if you want to ask any questions, do so in the comments. Um, some of these will be quite quick, um, especially the WWE one. Well, before, you, before you ask the next one, Mark, what was yeah. your highlight? Oh, uh, Yeah, good, good, good question. Call. Good call. Uh, that was hard because I got to talk to loads of really cool people. That was, I think I did something like 14, 12... 14 interviews in the end. Um, it's hard to know. Um, that was was it working fun. with me? Yeah. Yeah. It made me realise just how competent I am. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the thing there, though, Mark, is that we don't set the bar particularly high, so we make you look amazing. <laughs> but useless. Surely, surely the highlight was having that little shield shape next to your name on Facebook. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, well, I, I didn't really see it. You could have wielded the power if <laughs> yeah. you chose I came very close after I had too many drinks the other night, um, but I didn't, <laughs> and that's the important thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cubbley was a good, he was a good one, wasn't he, Cubbley? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did wonder, actually, when earlier I was trying to lock a thread, and I was thinking, this isn't working, have I been bummed out? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but that was really cool, and I think what I liked about the interviews was everyone was different, like, I, I, yeah. I, my, yeah. in, my, my, prediction before we did the interviews was going to be that we would just hit i'd end up hearing the same thing again and again and i would get fed up of doing the interviews but i was loving them and even this afternoon i did three and 90 minutes or something which was just bonkers back to back but they're all so yeah. different and so many lovely people and uh, yeah it's always fun when they can't speak english properly oh yeah don't you find Mark? <laughs> <laughs> that always yeah. Are you talking about Londoners again. <laughs> I wasn't there. Or indeed, can't hear what you say properly. Yeah, yeah. There's uh, <laughs> been some bumps along the way, but it's uh, still a lot of fun. And I think, um, particularly speaking to the guys from Yay Games, um, I think uh, it's similar to what you were saying, Martin, before was where they were just sort of talking about how it was designers helping designers, publishers helping publishers, mm. and uh, Andrew used to be an author. And said so you just wouldn't get that in the book world. Just like there's no way no. that you would show an unwritten book to another author. Um, but it all happens yeah. all the time with games. People are showing off prototypes, helping each other, and I think that's what makes it an awesome hobby. Is like it's just like that across the board. And I would say you know even with convention organisers, we're all in a group together, we're all helping each other, and it's not like oh no, protecting uh, your own thing. It's like no, 
No, because we all know that um, a rising tide raises all the ships, and you know, it's great. Exactly. Gamers tend to be thoughtful. Mm -hmm. That's the key, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I was saying yeah. it, it was because the gamers were mature, but I think I think the, it's more a case that they're thoughtful people generally. Yeah. 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 Respectful. I think this proves that we're not a mature group, certainly. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <Well>, A. <laughs> Um, but we're, respect, can, can we're I, a respectful group. Yeah. yeah can yeah. I just say though, that Mark, what a fabulous compare you are, though. It was so much fun that quiz. That's and funny. Most... I was going to say the only drawback of all the interviews is we always saw him. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was no. impressed. Last night your best bib and Tucker. I mean, I, yeah. I was a bit disappointed there were no sequins, but maybe next time you can work on that. Yeah. Maybe yeah, next time I'll put some trousers was... on as well. Yeah, your, your delivery yeah. was so smooth. It was just very, very, very comic. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. I think you might need a catchphrase next time. Mark, I think yeah? I've, still got, I've still got my microphone here as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, cool. So we'll move on. Kelly, uh, it's Kelly Ackley, asks, in the event that the admins were trapped in a hotel room together with only one bed, what would be the order of spoons slash spooning? She suggests oh, yeah. littlest to biggest. Oh, yeah. But, you know. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm going the middle. I like warmth, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd have to be smallest spoon because I cannot breathe hot air. So I have to have a cool bed and one oh, leg out of bed. Like, can, can Martin go next? Because I, I don't want to choke on any hair. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of back hair there. Then. <laughs> no, I, I think I would. I, I would have to be on the edge because I have to get up several times during the night. <laughs> oh, right. true, yeah, yeah. So you're big spoon, so that puts Chris somewhere mm. in the middle with Martin. Not a chance. <laughs> break, break your arm Six foot two. I'm, I'm big spoon. Martin would have to go at the bottom bed, along the bottom near our feet, and he'd only go to the toilet four times, what, five like times a night. Sorted. Like a yeah, but he'd have to be careful not to tread on Andrew because Andrew said he's on the floor. Uh, I'm just, on to walk, the floor. just to warn Balcony. you guys, sometimes I don't make it out of the bed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> the knees. Very good. Um, this might lead to the next question: is trying to decide who's sleeping where. Is Chewy asks who would win in a WWE WWE style free for all match between all of you? A dice involved. I've got a lot of luck with dice. <laughs> Surely it depends how it's planned beforehand. Is that what I'm on? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm, on, I'm knees and elbows, so I think I could take a couple of you down. I, I think Anna. Oh yeah, or just just nothing chairs. but knees and elbows. I can, I, I can see Anna to reaching for a chair and just being really cheating. Cheating, you mean? Yeah, yeah cheating, exactly that. Yeah. I've had a rich and varied past, chaps. I'm not just saying that. No, no, that. that's a good point. Yeah, they, they, it would be the football hooligan in him that, yeah. that would win. Yeah. Our resident gangster. Yeah, but I've played rugby. I could take you down. <laughs> I was going to say. Doesn't everybody in London know the craze? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, the, I'm the love child of the craze. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Paul Naylor asks, uh, which it might be too early to answer, if the lockdown ends, are there any plans to do another weekend like this? It's, but, and he just says it's been great. We've already answered that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I mean, what we'll the next do... three months. Yeah. <laughs> it depends well, how long the rest of the admins last. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think it's all about demand, isn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, um, if there is a if there is an appetite for it, that's the right word. If there's an appetite for it, both within retailers and publishers, but yeah. also within the group, because what we don't want to do. I mean, this is not about us, really. It doesn't need to turn into a cult of, cult of us. We'll do whatever people want to have done and if, if, yeah. if in the future they want to do this again then we'll do it well that's um, the thing because currently we filled a gap because this would have been the expo weekend yes yeah. like somebody said previously i think it was you chris actually yeah. pretty much every weekend every other weekend there's something happening throughout most of the year and that's the reason we haven't really done anything before and what we don't want to do is go we're going to do this and now we're clashing and taking audience away from an actual physical convention so it does yeah there's a circumstance part of the equation there. Well, absolutely. There's right? it's, it's only so much cash to go around, obviously, yeah. as well. You know, So what we don't want to do is actually um, spoil, because um, with the collegiate approach that we're trying to mm. engender, um, mm. everyone helping everybody else, we don't want to go, back, uh, uh, go against that, do we, by organising something that's counterintuitive yeah. yeah. to that absolutely. by actually stepping on somebody else's toes. So well, I also hope that people don't wait for an organised event to reach out and game with each other. Yeah, oh, absolutely not. Good call. You know, yeah. that town technology's there. Use it. Yeah. 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 No reason but, why. It but that's our job. Game. That's our job. 
to promote that. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, not just, not just by the weekends. Yeah, I'm telling you now. Oh, no. Challenge accepted. Yeah. So. <laughs> If the opportunity arises, do you think we will do another one of these digital type events, a virtual con, or do you think maybe a physical one instead? Let's not talk about physical cons again. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll talk about it amongst ourselves in the admin group. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> but it's all, we're, we're just covering old ground. Yes, we've thought yeah. about it, etc., etc., etc. et, cetera, et, cetera, et cetera. Yeah. We've covered it this weekend. Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> 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 Chris, have you got Always your the okay. Someone's eating the wife's crisps. She's not very really happy about it. I don't know it's coming across. There's a bloody line in the sand. Like on the rampage. Come and explain yourself here. <laughs> because I buy low no fat crisps for me, oh, there's and a good one. fat crisps for everybody else, and then the buggers eat my bloody low no fat ones. I'm on the telly. You're not on the telly. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, yeah. they are really it's nice. Not me. It's not me. I need my own studio. I don't know if you're picking this up. <laughs> yeah. Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, anyway, for Martin's own you're studio. Ne- you have next question, Mark. Yes. <laughs> yeah. We'll go into the uh, into the chat. Uh, Gav is asking what one board game would be in the room after all that spooning for everyone to play. Oh, a late night. Would it be, um... would it be a co-op? No, not with Anderson. No. I think it would have to be something that could be wiped down. How about Twister? Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and there's me going with the sensible answer, no, thinking it no. might actually be an old We need an innuendo button, like an innuendo jar. <laughs> yeah. Make it gorgeous. I'll be broke. <laughs> some horse shit, and it, like, they automatically donate a quid. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be broke. <laughs> Like one of those Amazon Dash buttons. Yeah. 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 Uh, Nick Smith suggests Yogi. Or in a bind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah He's obviously yeah. not seen the state of my knees. <laughs> <laughs> Battlestar Galactica, probably, isn't it? Um. That's not a bad idea. Could be. There's probably a hidden traitor here. <laughs> Who would be the hidden traitor, do we think? It's, I mean, it's be... not me, and I wouldn't say that. Have I ever it... tell you my middle yeah, release it, it would be me. It would be me, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it would. <laughs> You're the least human looking out of all of us, Martin. That is true. No. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Angela, Angela's asking, did any of the interviewees or stalls persuade you to buy any new games or any of their merchandise during this weekend? Yes. Go on, round, round the screen, who's going first? Uh, Anderson, you start and we'll go. We'll katan it. Okay. Uh, is this so I don't drown everybody else out? <laughs> well, I just know you, you've um, got the longest I, list. So. No, I bought one thing. I bought um, those bit trays oh, from Phil yeah. this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, I thought they were fabulous. I thought they were really nice. Yeah, really I bought good. no game. To, to be perfectly honest, I have, sorry retailers, but I have not clicked into any of the retailers. I've not no had time. time. Not had time. No, no time. Um, not looked at bring and buy. Um, so it's it's completely the counter of any con- convention I've ever been to. I've not had the opportunity to do that. But F- Phil impressed me this morning with her stuff. So thank you, Phil. And she gave me three fa- three pound fifty back because I did even that wrong. <laughs> ah, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so Leanne, you obviously got the bit trays as well then. <laughs> the bit trays and I did the same thing I put our code in and went why don't I not to do with the rest checked out thought it would do it automatically then emailed them and went I think I've broken it I, I think I've got it wrong um, <laughs> it was lovely I didn't expect them to sort it out because it was my fault but they did um, but yeah I um, so I got that I got lots of little bits I ordered some things for Arkham Horror LCG before um, the con started from a different from our suppliers um, so that was good um, but yeah like like Andrew um, like Anderson said, we've got no, we've had no time. As much as I've not done as many interviews as everybody else, I've been working full time, like Andrew and I've not been able to jump in as much as we'd like to. Um, 
it was it took me till this afternoon to be able to sit down and actually go through some of these offers and have a look on the website. Um, and unfortunately, it meant that I'd missed out on one because one thing I had been finally persuaded to buy was Robinson Crusoe and Mystery mm. Tales because I do a lot of solo gaming and I've been told it's a great game. And I know that there was an offer and Ignacy put an offer up. Um, and I went to him today. He's like, I can't find that post and I can't find the game on your site. He's like, no, we sold out of those yesterday. I can look Fantastic. in the warehouse, but there is one. Honestly, that's really good to hear. So, yeah, it's good news. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Flying through things like that. But Rubbish news see, for you. The good news is that it's <laughs> it. that it's popular. So um, it persuade me to give it a shot. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll come up with yours instead then. Um, but yeah, and I've not looked around the bring and buy either. So that's a job. Hopefully, I'll see what's left on those posts from I tomorrow know. onwards. And I'll spend the rest of the week looking at the bring and buy stuff, I think, um, yeah. <laughs> and seeing what po- what's left on posts. Yeah. But but yeah, lots of little bits and bobs from Etsy and things. Lots of nice little nice little bits and bobs and those bit trays. And Very hopefully, cool. I'll bag a copy of Robinson Crusoe at some point. <laughs> Very nice. I think Martin's going to go back and sort of ask a lot of the retailers how, how the exhibitors how they did yeah, and how they found it. I did already get a message from Nabil at Traveling Man who just said it's been their busiest weekend since long since lockdown, and so oh, well, he said, good. he said they've not. He's not had a chance to look count exactly how many codes were used yet, but he knows it's a lot and he knows it's <clears throat> that could just be Expo Blues. Uh, maybe. Yeah. But, no, he, nah, <laughs> he says he, he thinks it's uh, it's it's been this weekend and been the. the all those codes being used so like you covers any any purchases i i bought one thing so leah mentioned portal and ignacy and i i did find the time to have a look through there because somebody i think it was you leah actually said what a great bunch of deals are on there so i thought right I'll, I'll go out my way to look at those and they really were and i bought the 51st state bundle which nice. was just such a great deal i was just like screw it i'll, I'll pick that yeah. up but that is pretty much the only thing I managed to look at all weekend so mm-hmm. Andrew uh, specifically this weekend no I've, I've so I've made a couple of big purchases I suppose you can count Nemesis Lockdown I backed Nemesis Lockdown this weekend but I knew <laughs> I was going to do that anyway uh, and I, I managed to get from the group a very, a very uh, good member sold me his copy of Middle Earth Quest which I've been after for years nice. uh, last weekend so a couple of big purchases and I've been investing in this small game called Core Space which I Apparently, yeah. I've heard of that one. No, sorry. Yeah. Is it? Is it like commission started with It's got its own topic. That's why, no, that's why he's not spent out because he won't get the commission till afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, in Andrew's defence, he bought a lot of these things like a week ago, and he wasn't aware that this convention was happening. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was true. He has no left now. <laughs> Chris, anything for you? Yeah, I bought. Um... From Portal, I bought the Imperial Settlers bundle because it was like half price, yeah. free postage. Having said that, I'd, I spoke to Ignacy yesterday because my order crapped out. It added some postage and then failed, uh. so he's sorting it out tomorrow. But yeah, I bought that. <clears throat> I bought uh, the Gruffalo game from Yay. Nice. Yeah. And I bought uh, God, oh, wet, the... water, water, wet, whatever. It's that new Crossroads game from... <laughs> I thought I'd buy something Forbidden from, from Dave from Trumbo 3. Show some loyalty to Fanboy 3, so I ordered... Yeah. What is it? Forbidden, Forbidden, water. Forbidden Waters. Yeah, yeah you're obviously looking Fanboy forward to it, Chris, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Crossroad games. So, yeah. That. I think it looks really good as well, that one. I think that's the one we'd play, Apparently then, if we were in the hotel room. We'd play Forbidden Waters. I'm happy with yeah. that. Oh! Very good. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> I'm not sure where that's going yet, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, I know where it was going before so, you yeah. took <laughs> Three purchases, those nice. three. Yeah, I got uh, Endangered... Mark? Uh, endangered from the Grand Gamers Guild with the Pandas mm. expansion. Um, what a nice guy that Mark is. Yeah, he was lovely, wasn't he? Yeah, he was a really nice guy. Um, I think he was in the chat before, just saying thank you for what a good weekend it oh, was. that's good. Because uh, and... it's part of his suggestion that this sort of came through as well, wasn't it? It, it was, was uh, yeah. Head yeah. into this. Yeah, yeah. And then I bought a couple of bits for my wife to give to me. <laughs> for birthdays and such. Presents you know you love. Yeah. Um, kind of your life. I got them from Traveling Man because they were having 10% off. So I got the legendary Asia map for Ticket to Ride, which is the last map set that I needed. And the crew. Oh, yeah. I need to get the crew. Yeah. Forgot about that. Uh, very good. A uh, couple more then. If you could name one designer to have a beverage with once this madness is over, who would it be and why? I mean, mine would always be Tony Boydell. I've done done it before, and I would absolutely do it again. The conversations we had were, uh, I mean, staggering and spectacular. So I would, I would 100% do that again. 
Yeah, I've had a, uh, I, I keep getting invites to the to his birthday celebrations, and the last two years. Yeah, that's a trick. For various, for various yeah. reasons, <laughs> I've not been able to go uh, for various reasons. Um, but hopefully, if he does the same thing next year, I'll uh, I'll free the weekend up. Because yeah. he is a star. He's a cunt, but he's a star. <laughs> he's, he's very funny. He is <laughs> very had, funny. Had yeah. some extremely amusing conversations. So two. For- Two for per Tony Boydell. Are you going to do it all, you know, as a threesome? Have a little. God, no. Are you sure? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, I keep both at least convincing to drink. That was an awkward silence, wasn't it? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I think it may have already happened. <laughs> Andrew, you got a particular. Uh, mine, mine would probably be um, Christian T. Peterson. I know he's not a designer at this moment in time. But I, if I could get a drink with him, I'd, try, I'd get him drunk and persuade him to go back to being a designer. Because mm-hmm. some of the, his games, uh, you know, Twilight Imperium, Game of Thrones, so the early days of, of, of FFG and what Phenomenal. really Can got me I tell me you, into... Andrew, that uh, I don't, I don't want to be name droppy here, but when I went to Gamma, he was there. And yeah. I, I did fanboy a little bit at him. And I pretty much went through this exact conversation with him. You need to design again. This is, was amazing. That was amazing. We went through the halcyon days of FFG, and that's when he came and gave me the uh, the map for Game of Thrones. I was he like, also oh, gave you a rest- he also you gave you a restraining order, didn't he, Mark? <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah, that doesn't, was doesn't, like, yeah, doesn't mean to, to name drop. So. <laughs> no, I, mean, <laughs> name drop. <laughs> just, I went through the same player. conversation because he was just yeah. he, he was FFG at that point, and the games he came out were really in probably mine and your wheelhouse, Andrew. So just yeah, like yeah, yeah. please design sure. the game. Yeah. Yeah. Leanne? Uh, that's a tricky one. I too keep meaning to try and get to Tony's. And I, I can imagine the conversation would be uh, would be brilliant and we'd have a great evening. Um, but I think it would have to be um, Cedric Shabusi, who did Lewis and Clark, mm. um, who I got to meet at Essen last year. And I managed to demo a game to him and his mates and I demoed it in French for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and uh, and then only at the end actually found out who he was because I didn't know his face. Um, so I'd love the chance to sit down with him and talk games and, and game mechanisms. I think that'd be really interesting. Okay. And you didn't know who it was because you were distracted because you were talking to Eric Lang. And... <laughs> who? Who? Uh, yeah, and that funny guy with the hat that's too small for his head that shouts a lot. <laughs> okay, and then uh, Martin Anderson. Martin remember any names? Well... <laughs> I'm going to go with um, someone that I nearly made admin earlier today, David, David Chertsey. <laughs> I think I, I, I do like David's games. Um, he's, he, a nice he, guy. he's a nice guy. He, he talks a huge amount, but he's um, incredibly knowledgeable, obviously. He, he knows uh, what his skill sets are, but I think he would be really interested because... Um, the amount of people that go to him through solo game, gaming means that he must have some incredible stories about lots of other publishers and and uh, designers that you know would be really interesting to hear about yeah. the processes that they've gone through because he's collaborated with so many people as a consequence. Yeah. So you know, you kind of got through David uh, access to so many other people in the industry that are big at the moment. So. You know, if I was going to cast a net as far as I possibly could to have conversations with as many people as I possibly could, it would probably be David, I think. I do truly hate it when you've got a clever answer. <laughs> and, uh, would, you like, would you like to piss on that clever answer and say, I've done that and spent I've the evening... I've got it written on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that The stories are brilliant. <laughs> uh, who wrote you, it for me? It was actually David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. David now lives with me. <laughs> he ate the crisps. <laughs> yeah. Crisp thief. True story. I, I, I met David's ex-wife um, during the week because he had a game delivered to um, their house. So I went around and met his ex-wife, who was, a, and again, a lovely woman. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm on Random. my st- talking. I now Where's talking, going? David, in some bizarre way. <laughs> I now know where he used to live. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, how about how about you, Mark? Uh, uh, probably, like beer, so. yeah. So probably Ben Rossett. So he designed Brew Crafters. So I know he likes a good beer. So okay, you know that'd be mine. And it's nice. probably my favorite game. I think it, I think it was a cup of tea in the question. You'll find. 
A cup of tea. A cup of tea with. No. Oh. No. Nah. No one then. Pointless. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, well, maybe two more, and then we'll then we'll uh, call it an evening. Um, okay. This one uh, should be fairly quick. Uh, what has been on your pile of shame slash potential the longest, Anderton? Oh Christ! Um... Shame. The longest. Mm. Well, if this gives you a clue as to why I'm struggling with that question, is uh, I think. The last count, I had, I, I, I'm looking out now. My game's through out there. Um, someone's in there actually. The lights on. Um, taking a bag of crisps. <laughs> I'm being, I may have to go and maybe being burgled. <laughs> <laughs> but um, of my games collection, I think I own 70 games. I've not played. Wow. A lot of them are still in shrink. Wow. Um, what the oldest of those would be really <clears throat> difficult for me to say. Um, that's you probably on. Be quick, Mark. I did, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I, 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 I'm not entirely sure I know. To be perfectly honest, Just what question. the oldest of those would be. It used to be actually um, going to back to. I'm going to pretend I hadn't sold this now. It used to be Imperial Settlers. Okay. I bought that. Um, probably when I got back into modern gaming, maybe four or five years ago, um, because it was at the time very popular. I bought it on spec and uh, I never played it. And I sold it last year, unplayed. So the only reason I mention that is because Chris has mentioned that he's actually bought it. So you see what I've done there? I bought it back into a circle. Can I just say that I bought it and sold it unplayed as well? Yeah. <laughs> you, wow. you can, because I like it when you copy me, because that means <laughs> I've won. Enough. <laughs> I might have done it before. No, you saw it last year. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, you win. Um, Leanne? Yeah, you <clears throat> Sorry, what was the question? Because my my whole audio oh. and everything dropped out for a while and I've not I've missed loads. No, it's, <laughs> it's the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's been on... Uh, which game has been on your pile of shame slash potential for the longest? And then, for the longest? Yeah. You probably, you probably your audio dropped out because Martin had to take so long to think that your computer went to sleep. That's a really shame for longest. Um, Sorry, I did have a copy of um, Kraftwagen um, that I bought secondhand, and that stayed here for the best part of a year and a half. I never managed to get it to the table, and ended up having to sell it. Yeah. So that's probably. That's probably one of them, to be honest. Um, and I've also got a big... I think for two years I've owned a copy of um, Agents of Smirsh with all of the expansions. Haven't gotten that to the table. Um, and I know I have one game still in shrink. Two games still in shrink. That's all I have. Um, Rajas of the Ganges and Cytosis. Oh, that's a great game. Rajas of the Ganges so, is a great game. Mm. So, uh, But yeah, it's, um, I tend to try and recycle them out now as, as, as quickly as I can. Um, and there isn't a lot left in shrink, because every time I get a game, I have to take the shrink off and punch it and smell it and love it and, and then just put it on a shelf and not play it. <laughs> cool. Covers? Uh, I know mine without a shadow of a doubt. Mine has sat on my shelf for probably approaching 20 years. <laughs> I'm played now, and it is called Chill Black Morn Manor. It oh, I can take it off you. <laughs> I, it was based on an old role-playing game, Chill. Uh, I've got Wii. Chill. Yep, I've got Chill as well. That's cool. And Blackmore Manor is a toll laying game um, where you kind of like, it's a bit Manchester Madness y, Madness -y if you like, where you're uh, exploring around. But the thing that attracted me to it was you have this, I think it's a willpower stat, and once it drops to below a certain threshold, you become evil and are then working for the bad guys but the the good guys can then like take you to a chapel and force your willpower back up and make you a good guy again so there's like this this swinging backwards and forwards uh but i've never played it <laughs> well. oh, i've heard such good things i've heard such good things about that and about chill as an rpg we've got uh nick smith oh, covers, right. nick smith's covers beating you in the it. chat though he's got a starfire campaign game that he's owned since 1985 that he's not played 35 years <laughs> Cabos, I knew it was going to be your answer. It was going to be a game that contained the word swingers. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> well, that was when, it, when I was in my twenties. That's what it was like. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Mark? Uh, oh, um, 
mine oh it just i was pretty good i went through all of my pile of potential uh, at handicon and any game that i bought at handicon i asked the person that I was buying it off to teach me it straight away so i got mine down to zero until we got to aircon and then i got a bunch in a mass trade and bought a bunch and then we went into lockdown and i've not played any of them so <laughs> I think um, that's the biggest problem with Mass Trades, to be honest, Mark. You get you get such a big influx of games all at once yeah, that yeah. it becomes a bit unwieldy to keep on top of them. Yeah, so I've got a bunch. Uh, Santa Maria, Praetor, Taj Mahal, First Santa Class, Maria's good game. New Corp Order, a bunch that I got, uh, Chronicles of Crime, that I got all at the same time that I've just not been able to play. Okay, uh, Andrew? And, Andrew? I was trying to think, I actually don't have any board games that I haven't played. You're doing it wrong. I have three RPGs that I haven't played. I'm not sure which order. So I've got Forbidden Lands. Yeah. Uh, I've got The Alien. Ooh, it's a brand new game. RPG. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and much to your disgust, probably, uh, Martin, oh. I'll have a fourth edition. Well, I've only just started mine as well, to be fair. So, but... Yeah, but those first two, I think they've only been out about two months. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I haven't played them yet. I, I own them, I haven't played them, it's shocking. Uh, Chewie's theory was that you disappeared off screen to go and play the last one on your pile, so you could see them on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, quickly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Chris, Chris, then, you keep looking around at your shelves. Yeah, I don't. I genuinely don't know. Um, I have a couple of role-playing games that are unplayed. I don't know what, what, what's been up there the longest unplayed, but i tell you what will almost certainly disgust you. I've got almost everything for Dungeon Saga and the first Kickstarter of Conan, all of it, and Mythic Battles Pantheon, and none of them have been played. Uh, you have to play Mythic Battles Pantheon. Yeah. And, and Come round to my uh, house. Sword and Sorcery. Come round to my garden. Don't worry about that. All of it unplayed. Ooh, sword and Sorcery, <laughs> I've heard good things about it. Was it from you, Martin? I believe. I like Martin. There are yeah. too many games unplayed. I've there. tried to get my hands on that a couple of times in sales and I always missed out. Oh yeah, I don't know what the, what the oldest is, but there are too, way too many up yeah. there unplayed. Very good. Um, I was going to pick a longer one, but I'll go for another shorter one, and then we'll uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll wrap it up. Have you ever accidentally? Are you getting bored, Mark? <laughs> well, you know, it's getting late. It's, it's a week night. I've got nothing to do tomorrow, so. Um, good night. <laughs> um, I've I've already spoken to way too many interesting people this weekend, so it's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> have you yeah. ever accidentally ruined or destroyed a game was it yours and was it worth replacing start with Chris accidentally destroyed a game no <laughs> on purpose uh, ooh. on purpose destroyed a game yeah I mean other than legacy game yeah I've, I have actually thrown a few away that I, I disliked uh, um, that much the, well, the one the last one I threw away was um, Match Coral Legacy which we played I think four games of and then, even though it was stupidly expensive for what it was, went in the bin because I could not be asked playing any more games of it. Um, yeah, I can't think of any others. But yeah, no, I def there's definitely a few that I've gone now that I've... Not only is this game so bad I don't want to play it again, I can't be bothered selling it to force someone else to then play it. So I just threw it in the bin. <laughs> but never accidentally. I had somebody spill um, a hot cup of coffee over my entire Terraforming Mars last year which Oof. was fun but what was worse was it was it was on this table which is the table that has the telly Ooh. Oh, right. for D&D &D. so it was like panic 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 but it was everything was fine the guy liked the game anyway and he actually bought a copy of it and gave me the new board and just took the board oh, that's good. having said yeah. that dried up really quickly anyway it was no, yeah, yeah. no sweat well you probably fine. with the quality of that game you wouldn't be able to tell the difference anyway. shut it <laughs> <laughs> Shut it. You could replace it off one of those ones on eBay that's got really thick cardboard. Yeah, <laughs> Next. Uh, Andrew. Not by accident. I've got a couple that I've done on purpose, and I'm not sure I should say the first one. Go um, on. About before I got into the hobby properly, my mother had a clear out and gave me some games in the loft. Um, and I kept a couple, but I actually threw away Space Crusade with the uh, with expansion. Oh, oh my god! Oh man! You could have given that, that work, Andrew. Oh. Yeah, 
That one stings. Ouch. Mint, mint condition, space crusade, with, with the expansion, with the dreadnought, with everything nice in the, yeah, in the bin. Wow. Um, and then I got rid of, um, uh, what's it called? Massive Darkness. I actually demolished the game to keep the miniatures. Yeah. I did the same. I did yeah. the same. I kept, I kept the game. I got the miniatures out of it. I had the yeah. miniatures painted for D&D. I kept the game for maybe a year. And then and I, I got rid of it. bollocks. And I just put it yeah. in the bin. Yeah, because it's rubbish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But um, that. I think I did the same with Zombie Side. No, I kept the Zombie Side. No, yeah, I, I just I, got rid of it. I, and Black, I, got, I got rid of Zombie Side Black Plague. All the boards, all the cards, yeah. everything, and just kept the miniatures for D and D. Been. So yeah, <laughs> there's two that I destroyed. Wow. Angela Finch says uh, her mum took her hero quest with all the expansions to the charity shop after she moved out. At least it's charity shop. At least somebody got to enjoy it. It's true. Mine was fifty p. Yeah, land for Phil. Yeah. Covers. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think I've ever destroyed a game. I distinctly remember one time um, we were playing Descent First Ed. I had Rob Treasure, a good friend of mine. He was around my house, and we'd we'd played a game of that. And after we'd finished, we were kind of looking through the treasure deck going, oh, look at this cool thing. And I distinctly remember holding the deck of cards in my hand saying, hey, look at this card. And the top card slid off and went straight into his pint of squash, which, uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we literally folded up laughing after the, like, the shock of what had happened. Uh, but that was, that was just one card. And it actually seemed okay. I've had two drinks spilt over my games. I can actually three, um, two alcoholic, one squash. Um, what are they all you? No, none of them would be as well. And I really like to look after... waste a beer. So, yeah, yeah, I was going to say, don't waste three, do you? So one was a stranger in Jason's shop many years ago. Um, over my room bound, he just spilt a can of cider over it. And I didn't even know him. So it's very difficult to kind of be angry or whatever when they're a complete stranger. Um, <coughs> friend Adam, uh, we were playing <laughs> Formula D. And it's a two-part board, if you remember. And he spilled a pint of squash over one half of it. And I don't know what he was thinking, but he kind of picked it up, tilted it like that, and the squash ran down <laughs> onto the other board as well. <laughs> you really? squash. That was really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there like, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> and the final one was a particularly good uh, game of Chinatown. We were playing at the Expo a few years back, and Barney being his inebriated self, spilt a bottle of cider over uh, the game of Chinatown. Um, but Mike Nudd, who we were with, he had the the good sense to actually take a picture of the game state. We kind of then got all the cards off, dry them all off, moved tables and everything was okay. And then Barney replaced the game anyway. So he's got that cider stained one and I've got a, a new copy. But that, I've never done it myself. But I've had many drinks spill over my own games. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Leanne? Um, no, I've been fortunate. I've not spilt anything on anybody's game. Nobody spent anything on anything of mine. Um, I've had uh, I've, I've had the odd occasion where I've got impatient punching things, and if the punch hasn't been quite cut right, <coughs> instead of sitting there and going back mm. for my craft knife, I've gone, yeah, I can do that, and then taking the back off yeah, a token and got really yeah. mad. Um, but it's it's rare so far. I've been touch wood. I've been okay, and I have had lots of instances though, um, putting minis together and clipping off bits that I shouldn't on the sprue. <laughs> that, that seems to be a thing. I, I'll, somebody will be missing a hand or an ear or part of the top of their head or the tip of the flag. Or yeah. that, that's that's my that's the thing that I do. Yeah. Very good, Daniel uh, from. Go on, Anderton. Well, I was saying that Daniel from Anderton. Natural Twenties in the chat um, <laughs> saying, if this oh, if this isn't an advert for a gaming oh. table and cup holders, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> well well done, done, that man. <laughs> Very good, Anderton. Then yeah. Anderton, dirty, dirty um, <laughs> so, yeah, obviously being incontinent, it's um, it's not uncommon. But <laughs> no, but, yeah, after many, many, many years, I got back into D and D about two years ago, and um, it became very apparent to me that the cheapest way to buy minis in bulk um, to supplement what I had in the loft uh, for many years was to buy Massive Darkness, Conan, and uh, Zombie Side, uh, the, the medieval one. Was it? Uh, Black Plague. Black Plague. Black Plague, yeah. So I have destroyed all three of those games. In fact, I, I recently... <laughs> all three of us have. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I saw <laughs> Massive Darkness. 
Cool. Like like Neil Young should buy Massive Darkness. Yeah. Awesome I, I'm thinking about it now, genuinely Seriously. thinking of going to buy Massive Throwing Darkness and yeah. it off. Yeah, but, um, I've, and all the expansions. I bought all the expansions to Massive, massive yeah. Darkness as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I've recently sold all of the cards and the boards and that storm strength to somebody on the group for virtually nothing because it, it broke my heart to see the, the box there basically not being played. And if people can substitute the minis with something else, then there's, there's still a game in there. Um, Conan, I've done the same with Conan. Yeah, so exactly the same as you. Half, most of it is I've got to say, yeah, but even so. It is the cheapest way to acquire minis, yeah. um, without any doubt, that kind of thing. And um, so I've, I've purposely destroyed those games. Have I, have I accidentally or uh, inadvertently destroyed anything? <laughs> Probably over the years. I'm not entirely sure by it, of oh, whether or not. Yeah, I might have to do this, but I don't agree with you on Conan because I've played Conan with Andrew, actually. Yeah. And, and, yep. it's, and it was a brilliant game. So, no, I wouldn't destroy that. The, the, only, the only thing is, is that the, the scale isn't always... And conducive to be used against each other. I mean, the massive darkness ones are just slightly bigger than um, some of the other ones that you get. But yeah. apart from that, the quality are good enough for tabletop RPG games, definitely. Um, so, well, in, in the remote possibility that the designer of Massive Darkness is watching this, can I just apologise <laughs> on behalf of the disgraceful oh, yeah. of the <laughs> Okay, who, who well, else here thought? This, who thought that we'd see a day? Who thought that we'd ever see a day where Cubbly would be the voice of reason and would find it? Games get destroyed, Leanne. <laughs> but, you know, I've given games away. Of course I have. I mean, I've, get, I've given games away to friends. It's not destroying them. But I, I don't think I would have ever purposely thrown away anything that somebody else would have um, got any pleasure out. Andrew. Like <laughs> Such a saint. <laughs> I'll tell you, good, good, um, for D&D minis, uh, Pathfinder Pawns are great. You know, the flat things that have been... Yeah, I've got several of them. They're really cool. Good I've got, yeah, I've got loads of them. They're brilliant. The little fill-ins. Pathfinder, Pathfinder Pawns. Have a look at them. Very good. That's P-A-W-N, Martin, okay? Mm, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> I'll tell you <laughs> there is also the other stuff. That's, you know. that's a campaign <laughs> I want to play. <laughs> Uh, I have a bit of a tradition with Ben Bateson uh, for the last couple of years at Handicon for some reason he likes to put his drink right in the middle of the table uh, with my massive wingspan that I have Um, both years in a row I managed to knock it uh, a pint over his pint over his rule book Um, (laughs) Uh, I've never ever done it any other time it's just happened twice with him this must be something Could about you, the placement of his drink and my... my while eyes. we're mentioning Ben, can I just say, Ben, that I really did enjoy his application for the D20. Oh, um, the first, first of all, yeah. that's good. Yeah. I, I thought that was fantastic. I mean, yeah. then, then, nearly, then nearly made it into my top three, I have to say, but the oh, competition was so fierce. That was awesome. <laughs> um, my dad accidentally chucked away all of my Warhammer 40k armies. Um, accidentally? Yeah. I, uh, I used to keep him in Was a... it not a case of, I'm going to stop him being a nerd? <laughs> no, he, it was kind of, I had sort of stopped playing and he, I left them in his sort of, in his house as I, when I went to uni and I used to keep them all in a big uh, tool toolbox so they opened, you know, those kind of sliding toolboxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, for whatever reason, he was sorting out his garage and was like, oh, why have I got this old toolbox? And, you know, 20,000. Really he didn't bother opening it. No. The first time I uh, the first time I stopped playing 40k, I sold my Dark Angels army to a, a bookshop in Preston called the Alley Bookshop. They used to I think they used to buy things and give you something like 60 percent of what they'd sell them for, and I sold them specifically to fund my first trip to Glastonbury, and I did it on the way to Glastonbury. <laughs> sold them, got rid of everything. Yeah. See, I've benefited from one of these clear outs when you all say that people have thrown things out and, and you wish they hadn't. My brother moved away to Texas to get married at the drop of a hat. Um, and my mother was clearing his room out and asked me to come down and help. And I opened up all the boxes in the bottom of the wardrobe and there was so much D&D stuff and miniatures and floor plans. <laughs> and she was like, what are we going to do with this? Are we going to bin this? And I was like, no, 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 I'll take it for safekeeping because he might want it sometime. Hmm. Um, and it's at my house now. <laughs> Yeah. Have you been all the way through it? Because I dread to think what's at the bottom of that box. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Pathfinder porn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pathfinder porn. <laughs> no, luckily it was just lots of things. Uh, space plates. Um, oh, and, and the old NES in the games that I got to keep. <laughs> nice. 
I also had uh, I had Hanabi Deluxe, which was the one with the big cards. Uh, someone dropped, similarly to you, mine, someone dropped one of the cards in, in their drink, because you know you have to hold it and it just goes pop, yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah, their yeah. drink, and then they kind of went, oh, it won't matter though, will it? And I was like, well, you've just you played the game. You yeah. know it matters. <laughs> Greatly, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, Anders, do you remember the uh, when we were doing the charity thing and you went to pick up that Arkham Horror card? Game? Oh fucking hell! <laughs> oh, I love that story. Shall, shall I tell this story? Yeah. Um, quick, quick, quick. So we're only fifteen um, minutes over. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when we were doing the charity, someone was kind enough to give away the Arkham Horror um, Living Card game with all the expansions in the wooden box. Um, oh, yeah. custom, custom wooden box. It was a custom Beautiful. wooden box. It was, it was beautiful. So, yeah, that. absolutely. So I, I drove all the way out to Chelmsford, which won't mean anything to you, you northern um, monkeys. But it was, it's, a, it's a fair distance. So it's a, it's a round trip that took some time. And I did so, uh, I think it was quite late at night. Oh, no, actually, it was in the morning. I was going to a games day. So he basically brought it out. He opened it, the box up in my boot, showed it all to me. We had a little chat. He closed the box, and it's fantastic. Okay, so I drove to the games today, came back. It was about 12 o'clock at night from a games, uh, a games day. I thought, I can't leave that in the boot. Um, I, uh, I was a bit conscientious then. I was trying, still trying to uh, impress Chris, actually. <laughs> I, sent him, I sent him all sorts of pictures that hadn't done the trick, so I, I thought I'd better do something. And um, I, I picked the box up in the dark out of my boot by the box lid. And it hadn't been shut. Now, there were something in life. I think last count, there was something like maybe a, a, a quarter of a trillion cards in all of that. <laughs> all, all in order. Literally rank upon rank, rank upon rank of them. Yep. They went, and they were sleeved. So, so they, sleeve. hit, they hit the floor on my drive and went <laughs> everywhere. Because it was like dropping a block of ice. <laughs> Literally, they skittered everywhere. So first of all, I spent... <laughs> probably three quarters of an hour with a torch at about quarter past midnight <laughs> under my car, making sure I got every single one of the cards. And then me and my eldest son sat up until half past three in the morning, putting them back in order. <laughs> All for charity. So what had your eldest son done to piss you off? <laughs> <laughs> For hey, whatever reason, it, that as well. it, it, he, the sound of me sobbing <laughs> had woken him up, and he came he came down to Surely see what the, what the issue was. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Chris. I've just gotten over that. I'd forgotten all about that. You brought back the full horror of that oh, whole God, I laugh evening. About that at least every couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> at least. We all will now. <laughs> thank you for that gift. It'll be like Are the game. Wrong? You know, like when you lose yeah, the game. Yeah. So I've just I think, made um, everyone lose the game. Uh, I think Carl Bibby got it in the end. Yeah. Carl Bibby. I was going to say, whoever owns that is now looking at it. With I don't think he yeah, Is anything missing? Carl did. No, Carl did win a big set at an auction because I've played yeah. um, our, our, um, LCG with Carl. Um, it's an awesome set, that. It, it really missing? is. Uh, he's never mentioned it. I don't know if he's ever found Lee's I think he said he's never played it. He's not that big a fan. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's definitely played it, but there's always one card missing from a base set. Yeah. He probably threw it in the bin two days after he got it. <laughs> <laughs> he only wanted what it for the box sleep? anyway. Smashed yeah. up the miniatures. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, uh, thanks everyone. Uh, any closing words from anyone? Or we'll just say good night. Bye. I, I, I just say thanks to everyone that's kind of participated, supported the retailers, supported the the virtual con itself. And like the kind words they've kind of said to us as well in the comments and whatnot, it's been really gratifying Lovely. to know that it's been appreciated, I think. Yeah, yeah. very good. I can second that. I, uh, well, it's phenomenal the amount of um, support we've seen. It could have been so easy for people this weekend to get negative, to say, oh, we've only just found out about it, or to say, you know, I wish I'd been at Expo, or this isn't a patch on really meeting people. There's so many roads they could have gone down, and they didn't. And everybody's really gotten behind us with it all, and we thank you all so, so much for that, because it's it's meant the absolute world. Mm. Yeah, really the, the, um, the um, reaction to the media content has also been very gratifying, because it's very easy for people to say, oh, this has become some sort of ego trip for everybody. You know, they mm -hmm. just want to see themselves on camera. And hopefully people realise that um, none of us not, want to be on camera. Man. <laughs> none, none of us deserve to be on camera. None of us want to be on camera, no. and none of us want to see any of the others on camera. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. 
could, but it, it's it's been a, a bit of a roller coaster, but it's been extraordinarily uh, enjoyable. And I'd just like to give you all a kiss to say thank you. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> not again. The night terrors. I was, I was imagining the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I want to. I want to thank everybody. Obviously, I want to thank thank everyone in the group. Everyone that wasn't in the group. The 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 the, uh, the intake of new members this weekend has been crazy for for the obvious you know for obvious reasons. <laughs> I want to thank all of the admins. Uh, obviously, yeah. we've we've all covered it. We know that Mark and Anders have put in more work than anyone else. They've, they've been working so hard, but. Uh, I think with the with this with with, with the possible exception of Andrew, everyone all the other admins have put in more work than me. Certainly, <laughs> <laughs> I'll own that. Um, I, <laughs> I have been on um, on kid duty for for a good chunk of the weekend, so my time yeah. has been limited. But um, yeah, no, it's been it's been an eye opener. Um, I think definitely. I think our job going forward is to cr- start creating content. Start. I'd like to try and start some some kind of network so that it's not just us creating content. We'll have other people creating content and linking to other people's content. Uh, we'll we're going to bash that out. We'll figure that out. We'll go mm-hmm. forward. But I, I want to do it in a way that it doesn't impact the group negatively. So it will be connected to the group, but not necessarily directly in the group. We shall see. Yeah. Can, we wear, can we wear silly hats? You can't do anything. So, yeah, that's me. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. And, yeah, just echoing everything. Thank you, thank you Mark, everyone. Uh, got... Again, Mark, before you go, thank you very, so, so much, so much for so everything you've done. Um, as I say, I, I, I do Change contend it. that without you, um, everything would have gone a lot smoother. <clears> thank you. <throat> <laughs> <laughs> so close, so close. To Mark, to Paul, and to Gareth, a big thank you. Yeah, thanks, guys. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, like, Paul. Well... Not for that comment in the group, though, but thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> wow, harsh. Uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll see you all again soon on something like this or something else. Who knows? Um, thanks again. Bye bye. Bye bye, guys.